Hello friends, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic scatter diagram. Friend, this is a very interesting topic with respect to project management or PMI. We will see this topic in detail that what does it mean by a scatter diagram. And friend, uh, uh, see if you are a student and studying project management in any university or planning to give exam of PMP. So friend, this topic is very important. And uh, you will see this topic when we talk about analyzing uh, the scope quality management so you will see this diagram topic in the exam at least uh, three to four questions will definitely be there uh, in which the scatter diagram will be asked from you see friend you don't need to draw the diagram you just need to understand the concept of a scatter diagram secondly friend if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization as a project manager so again this topic is important for you to understand that what is a scatter diagram and how we can use it in the professional practical life of project manager so friends uh, first of let's start first of all i would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start scatter diagram see uh, friend before going into deep just see this word scatter diagram scatter means something is spread uh, it is not at one place it is scattered scattered means not on a single place it's scattered spread it basically you can say so scattered diagram friend is basically a diagram in which we show the relationship between two sets of data so that is called as a scattered diagram um, here in a very simple example of a scatter diagram like this for example a person person having some height and person having some weight so weight has some data and height has some data for example five let's suppose uh, you just want to understand the trend uh, so just try to understand the trend or relationship what you can do you just uh, sample for example five persons weight and their height okay it's a very simple example just take just try to uh, cut, uh, discuss and get the data of five persons weight and five persons height okay then try to take uh, try to make a relationship among their uh, their values like weight and height so one when once you draw the relationship once you draw the diagram you can draw this diagram using excel as well and some of the softwares are also available so just try to plot the graphs using the weight and height you can see some relationship here between the uh, person's height and person's weight so basically friend whenever we want to try to understand the trend whenever we want to try to understand the relationship between two sets of data we always draw the diagram which is called as standard diagram remember one thing friend with respect to exam point of view you don't need to actually draw the diagram you just understand the concept of scatter diagram what is a scatter diagram basically it's a diagram which we use to show the relationship between two sets of data a very simple example which you can just uh, uh, just try to understand is that ju just take the data of five persons height and weight and try to draw the graph on the paper or you can use excel as well or some other software nowadays available through which you can draw the scatter diagram you just need the values of five persons height and five persons weight to put the height on the vertical column and weight on the x column like horizontal column and draw the figure draw and plot these figures so you just see the scatter diagram and you see some relationship among the sets um, among the weight and height okay you can uh, you can say the when uh, whenever height is increasing weight is also increasing okay just say just say something so you can just draw a uh, just draw a line a straight line which is very uh, try to cover all the uh, how many how much possible to reach the points a single a straight line so it can give you a trend between the weight and height a very simple example you can try to understand here is that whenever height is increasing generally weight is also increasing so it is a very simple 
example of height and weight basically friend whenever we want to try to understand the relationship uh, try to understand the trend between two sets of data we always draw the diagram or scatter diagram and it is useful whenever we have to understand the relationship between uh, the, uh, the trend between two sets of data so we always use the diagram scatter diagram here so now uh, let's see an, another example of ice friend see just we will see another example of ice cream sales versus temperature see friend here for example let's assume that you have a shop of ice cream and uh, you want to see that how much uh, you have some figures like you are selling the ice cream and uh, with respect to temperature you also noting the temperature as well so uh, you can say this graph or these values you can maintain in excel like for example at uh, 14 temperature you sell around 215 dollar of ice cream at 16 degree centigrade you 325 dollar at 11 degree centigrade 185 dollar similarly at 18 uh, degree centigrade you sell 421 dollar at 226 you sell 445 dollar and at 17.2 you sell 408 dollar ice cream so see uh, first of all you have to maintain these figures in excel not necessary in excel you can maintain in uh, you can maintain in like uh, microsoft word or any other software as well so first of all see friend here the, there are two sets of data temperature and ice cream okay so now you want to understand the relationship between do the be between these two sets of data temperature and ice cream you let's assume that you are a seller you are a shopkeeper of ice cream and you want to understand the relationship that whenever temperature is increasing uh, are you uh, are your in sale is increasing of say, ice cream or not okay so you just want to try to understand the trend relationship between two sets of data what are the two sets one is temperature and another is ice cream sale so uh, are you getting my point the purpose of a scatter diagram is that you want to understand the relationship or you want to understand the trend between these two sets of data so friend uh, what we do uh, we uh, put the figure of sales on the vertical column and vertical uh, and temperature on the horizontal column and we draw these and we plotted these figures on the graph okay so what it will do like it will tell you that at 12 degrees centigrade sale was 200 uh, at 14 degrees centigrade the sale was around more than uh, slightly more than 200 dollar similarly at 22 degrees centigrade the sale was around more than 500 dollar and when the sale was around a uh, sale when the temperature was around you can say 20 between 24 26 the sale was around six hundred dollar so see friend here the relationship between the sale and temperature you can see just try to understand from here that whenever the temperature is increasing increasing the sale is of ice cream is also increasing are you getting my point what does that mean it is it the graph or scatter diagram is telling you that you just try to understand from here at 12 degrees centigrade the sale was two hundred dollar and at around you can say between 24 to 25 26 around 25 25 degree centigrade the sale was 600 dollar are you getting my point so whenever the temperature in degree centigrade is increasing the sale is also increasing so it tells you the uh, relationship between two sets of data or you can say the trend you can understand from here see friend here the scatter diagram basically draw a diagram to, uh, try to understand the relationship between two sets of data it, it tells you the trend basically so are you getting the trend from here it tells you the trend that whenever temperature is increasing the sale is also increasing from here so this is called as the concept of uh, scatter diagrams now just see from here see friend uh, whenever uh, you can see from here uh, you can draw a, a straight line here like that it the this straight lines tell you the basically it tells you the uh, tells you the the trend basically what is the trend 
whenever we try whenever we draw a line it uh, it we basically try to as much as cover the plots of figures or dots as much as possible okay so keeping in mind that you have to cover or you have to uh, touch as much as points as possible and draw and uh, draw a straight line there so basically if you just see this diagram or just see this trend line as well this is called a trend line you can understand that you can understand easily that whenever temperature is increasing like for example here at the uh, horizontal axis the temperature is increasing so whenever temperature is increasing you can see the sale is also increasing so it tells you the trend this line is basically trend this is called as trend line so this trend line is telling you that whenever uh, temperature is increasing sale is also increasing if temperature is decreasing sale is also decreasing of ice cream so friend um, that's all from my side i hope uh, you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you thanks a lot for your time